This is a segment where we take a look at a board game based on an IP, and I tell you the IP and the mechanisms match. Today we're looking at Winnie the Pooh Snow Parade. The first thing you do is you can simply play a card onto the discard pile, and you can move them up one location or back. So we definitely want to move Piglet towards the back. Instead of doing that, the second possible action you have is you could discard a Piglet card, and another player can discard, say, an Eeyore card if you wanted to, and you can swap the location of those two cards. So now we have Piglet at the back where we want him to be, and I was able to quickly do that without having to play cards to do that, and we got Eeyore more towards the front, which is where we want him to be. The other thing you could do is you can simply, and your third possible action is to discard your cards and draw two new cards, but remember, when this deck runs out, the game will be over, so discarding cards can be rather dangerous. What you're trying to do is accomplish this. So you can play an easy game where you accomplish three of these. You can do a medium game where you complete four, or you can do a hard game where you complete five. The biggest complaint I had about this game was it was already released as Frosty the Snowman, and that wasn't on the box. So I wasn't really sure when I was, this was kind of an instant purchase. I didn't know it was the same game I was purchasing, so boo for that. As for the game itself and where the mechanisms and the gameplay matches, yeah, I could see the characters of Winnie the Pooh getting together and have that get in a parade, and they're all getting out of a jumbly line, and, and what order they will be in, and the players are playing cooperatively to get them in. It kind of plays like maybe an episode or a book of Winnie the Pooh. I could see this happening. There's nothing in it. It's like Winnie the Pooh-ish. Obviously, you could just put another theme right on this. could be the Avengers. It could be whatever order, the Teenage Mutant Turtles, whatever. But somehow it has kind of a wholesome feel to it. And it's a nice, not so much Christmas game, but a winter-themed game, which I find pretty fun. The game itself is pretty darn solid for a children's game. It's a nice little cooperative game. Does the IP and the mechanisms match? I guess as well as it could. You're not going to feel like you're in that universe, but it works fine. 